quarantine, we are back for another episode of Reptile News. That was so low energy. Let me try that again. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about two things. We're going to be talking about pink geckos. What? Yeah, they exist. And also rubber duckies. Not the kind that you would take a bath with when you were a child or maybe as an adult. I don't I don't judge, but not that kind of rubber ducky. We're talking about isopods. This week, finally, an isopod rubber ducky care video was released by Isopod Source. So I'm actually wearing their merch. This is their um, rubber ducky t-shirt. And um, it says, rubber ducky, you're the one. So what the hell is a rubber ducky? <laughs> let's go back, let's recap a little bit. So yes, this is a reptile channel, but in the reptile world, there's a lot of other worlds. There's a lot of other hobbies that interlap with the reptile keeping community. So if you've ever been to an expo, I'm sure you've seen booths for isopods. Why? Because a lot of reptile keepers, instead of keeping artificial fake plants and substrate, they actually keep live plants and substrate. And in order to decompose their animal's waste, they use detrivores, which are animals, insects that eat the waste. Some of those are springtails, and some of those are isopods, also known as uh, roly polies, pill bugs. I think some people call them pill bugs. Why the rubber ducky? The rubber ducky is a species that was found in Thailand, in limestone caves in Thailand, not too long ago, maybe three three years ago I want to say. So a lot of people who had been keeping and raising and breeding uh, isopods for a long time, when they heard about these cool new isopods, they wanted to get their hands on them, but because they were from Thailand and from caves, they didn't know how to take care of them, so a lot of breeders were having trouble breeding them and keeping them alive. I first heard about them because my boyfriend showed them to me, he showed me the rubber ducky and I was instantly in love. They are so cute. Why are they called rubber duckies? Because they have this little beak that's orange. They have their little black eyes, their head is yellow, their body is like black, and then their like tail is like yellow again. They are so cute. And so when he showed me those, I was like, we need to get our hands on them. But a lot of breeders weren't having success breeding them, and so they were not super, super available. So I really wanted them. I really wanted them. And um, what do you know? The only online seller that I could find that was successfully breeding them and selling them was Isopod Source. They have amazing customer service, so I went ahead and I purchased some uh, duckies from them. That was in 2019, and then we bought some more this year. Um, actually, like a month, a month ago when they released this t-shirt, that's when I bought the duckies. And so now we have a little colony. And yeah, they're just super cute. You're gonna see some footage. Like I said, a lot of people didn't know how to take care of them. And there were some tutorials on YouTube about rubber ducky care, but a lot of people seemed like they really didn't know yet. They were trying things out. Well, now Isopod Source released finally a, a good care video, and I was just so excited because I had been waiting for that. We also have several species of other isopods. exciting news. This uh, past Easter, French Morphs, which is a crested gecko breeder that most of our geckos come from, French Morphs had a special release of pink crested geckos. I know that sounds crazy, but it's real. Check it out. Colors of Easter and, you know, having the pink gecko and all that. Super, super fun, super, super creative. French Morphs is one of the few breeders that has the pink line crested gecko. Uh, 
when I heard about a pink crested gecko, again, I had to get my hands on one of them. And so we purchased a female crestie from them about two, two years ago. And now she's really big. So you're gonna see some footage of her. Crested Gecko Pants from Morning Witch. So if you're interested, check them out. I'm gonna put the links, all links, will be in the description like always. Okay, and finally, yes, I knew I was gonna do this to you guys at some point, but this is not related to reptiles, it's related to mammals. Um, a few weeks ago, I found this video that had me in tears. It is so adorable. It's about a baby orphan elephant. Um, and how he's trying to adapt. So he was rescued and taken to this elephant sanctuary in Kenya. So this sanctuary is the Sheldrick Wildlife. I put the link of the video below. And you can actually go on their website and adopt an elephant. They're, they're orphans, a lot of their parents are killed by poachers and it's really sad but the work that the keepers are doing is absolutely amazing absolutely touching if you have I know it's tough times but if you have if you're really really well off and you have some money to spare why not adopt a baby elephant they're so cute and um, so that's in Kenya but also Thailand there's a woman called Lek Shilert and she also has a sanctuary they are taking in donations to help feed the elephants so if you have again the ability to donate to the elephants to feed the elephants in Thailand um, I would encourage you to do so and again the links will be down below. Well that is it for this week. I hope you're doing well and I will see you next week with more exciting reptile news.